Hey everybody, it's me, Aggie. Oh, let me turn my music down. How are you doing? Today we're gonna be doing some sketching. We're gonna sketch some bunnies because I have a new class starting this week and uh, it's gonna be baby bunnies in a basket. Say that three times. <laughs> so um, look at this adorable one that I found on Unsplash. So I'm just going to be using everyday tools for sketching. You know, grab grab some copy paper, grab a pencil or a ballpoint pen, even anything, and sketch along with me if you have a few minutes. So okay, I'm going to remove this one view of B from the camera, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to slide this over. It is really good to look at your uh, reference from, you know, on a uh, digital source if you can, if you have like an iPad or something. Is that going to let me get any bigger? It's probably as big as I can make it, huh? And so, like I say, I'm just going to grab some sketchbook. I mean, some um, copy paper. And here I just have a you know, Office Max, number two pencil. <laughs> so if you're watching, say hello. I'm so glad that you are here. Looks like we've got a couple friends here. Hey, Lynn, how are you doing today on this Super Bowl Sunday? Hey, Shelly, thanks for joining. I know you're probably not going to stay on because your team is playing, right? Lisa, hello, how are you? <laughs> We're sketching bunnies. They're so cute. And I don't, I really haven't done very many bunnies, have you? If you've sketched bunnies or done a bunny before, comment, let me know. So I'm gonna start off with this one. I'm gonna do it kind of small and I'm gonna use my continuous line, which means I'm just basically, basically blah, blah, blah. I'm basically going to um, keep, keep my pencil kind of um, touching the whole time. And I'm basically looking at the reference image. Boy, they have a very flat nose. And I'm, I'm going to be using my observational skills right now to just kind of record what I am seeing. You know, I'm kind of looking more at the reference and less at what I'm drawing, not worrying about the drawing. I'm, I'm worried more about, not worried, but I'm, I'm thinking more about, well, what am I seeing? Where is this eye placed in relation to this? You know, and they really do kind of look like their eye is almost smack in the middle. Um, this kind of looks like it's this way, and there's this hat. This they're so flat. That's how they, I guess, they can hide out in the in the grasses, right? So you're starting to see it come together a tiny little bit. Oh, Dolores, hello. So you did paint a whimsical bunny from a pattern once. Good for you. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see it. I would love to see it. And oh, don't you just love this guy's eye? How sweet is he? And I love this color. When we do our project, I don't even know what color I want to do. I don't even know what color I want to do them. There's so many beautiful, sweet colors of these little baby bunnies, right? Um, if you've seen baby, I, I haven't seen a lot of baby bunnies in person, have you? <laughs> if you have, what what's your favorite? I don't know. What's your favorite color? You know, there's cream, there's gray, there's, um, you know, cream and gray, and then there's kind of like peachy colors and oh, it's just so many pretty colors. Um, so this is just our warm up, basically. This is really just a warm up. Um, I wanna get this eye in here, maybe just a little bit more. Okay, so it kind of goes like this, and then it's very round. And then the, the circle sets in here like that. The iris, I guess I should say, the iris. And he's got a very dilated pupil for some reason. And a really big highlight. And we see the fold of his inner eye there. And I, I've noticed from looking at bunnies a little bit lately that you do really see that quite a bit. So um, definitely want to teach how to draw that in the class. You basically just have to allow that little bit of space there. Just kind of draw it in. And then they usually have 
a little bit more emphasis around the fur of the eye. It's a little bit darker. And of course, I always have to put the pupil in darker. And really, we don't even really see the nose. My brain tells me that, that I should draw a nose, but when you look at the reference, um, all you see is a tiny little dark-ish triangle right there. It's, it's as dark as anything else nearby. So, um, and, and his whiskers actually come out this way. Now your brain is probably telling you to draw whiskers going that way, but in this reference, they're going out this way. So what we're doing by doing this is we're, we're, we are reminding, I can't talk today. <laughs> we are reminding our brains, hey, uh, this is observation. Let me see what I need to see. Don't tell me what you think it's supposed to look like. I want to draw what I actually see. Um, and Shelly just commented, let's see. Um, not a real accomplishment. I do love bunnies and I hope to do a realistic bunny. Well, I think, you know, when, when we have the desire to do something, that's the, that plants the seed. That means that it's significant, it's important to you, so you will make it happen. I think it's a blessing when you have a desire. A lot of people don't have desire for, <laughs> for this, you know, so I'm glad you're here, Dolores. I really am. <laughs> and... Um, Shelly says, I saved a baby bunny from a dog. Oh, and the kids had pet bunnies that had babies. The rabbit nests are amazing. You've seen rabbit nests in person? So you've seen a lot of bunnies in person, it sounds like. Wow, how cool. Um, I just got a message that I can't answer at the moment. Um, that is so cool. Sorry about that. I make it look doable. You know what? Um, if you honestly just grab whatever you have and the continuous line thing is such a fun warm up. Um, so you just, so I'm gonna write it down. Continuous line, it, it's what works for me. I mean, don't make it harder than it is. You just put your pencil down and keep it move, keep it touched, keep it touching and keep it moving. And, you know, my hand is moving, but my eyes are looking at the reference. Um, this is a fun thing to do with kids. Kids are a natural at this, believe it or not, they, because they, they, can, they don't have it all. Their brain isn't really in the way yet. <laughs> so they, they usually do follow the instructions pretty well. And they don't, they don't realize, adults seem to make it harder than it is. Wait a minute. What do you mean draw without without looking at what I'm drawing? You can. You can draw without looking at what you're drawing, believe it or not. And this, it's going to be off. You're going to have a lot of gray lines like this. And the whole point of it is that after you've got all these gray lines, now we're going to go in, we're going to be more decisive. We're going to pick up a pen. And I'm going to just use a regular ballpoint pen. And um, we're going to decide which of these lines really is the true, you know, the true line, you know, because there's a lot of gray lines there. So, and even, even with this, we don't have to be perfect. You know, this time now we can, we can, you know, lift our pen up and, and all that stuff. But so I'm just going to kind of come in here and it's going to be close. You know, it's not going to be perfect. This is a warm up, And um, like there, I just went off. I, I really don't know that I know how to draw bunnies. <laughs> so got to start somewhere. So this is just a, a practice. Here's the other ear back there. Okay. And another thing I want to say is if you do just um, look at the overall angle at first, that's what I'm going to do on this one since it's warm up. So I see a little bit of an angle here, here, here here like almost it's almost a straight line then the angle changes slightly this way and then even more slightly this way if you were if you were only allowed hey there how are you thanks for joining us if you were only allowed to do straight lines like like you're blocking in 
it kind of makes it kind of forces you to really see the true angle, if you will. Okay, and now I'm gonna allow I'm gonna allow myself to do the round um, on the eye because you have to. Actually, I made the white of his eye a little bigger than it really is, so I could just kind of fake a little shadowy shape in there. And then this is the like inner, inner eye, um, pinkish looking skin that you see right there. We don't really see it on this side. It starts to show up when we come around on this side. And then maybe there's a, there is another little line of lighter tone in there. And then just a um, couple whiskers, maybe this, just this little indication of the nose. And then the, whatever that, whatever it is sitting in, I don't even know what it is. So. Um, and then if you wanted to like do a study on the direction of the hairs, you know, you could, you could do that. This could be your own little sketch where all you're doing is really looking at hair direction, fur direction. Is it hair or fur on a bunny? It's, it, I guess it's, it's fur, right? So, you know, how do these hairs go? These all seem to be going this way. And my brain tells me they should be going this way over here, but they're not. I really don't even see hairs up there. I just see a light tone. But over here, they kind of fluff out going this way, which is so cool, so cute. Here, they're going this way. And then really short hairs on the ear. And then behind here, they're kind of coming out like this. And then they start to lay down. And then they all, they have this shadow area in here. This is kind of a long haired um, bunny, I guess, right? And here, the hairs start going this way. Here, they're very sideways and short. So I didn't even notice that before. There's, there seems to be different lengths of hair and of course, a lot of different directions. So this guy's really fluffy and the hair goes every which way around his neck, I guess, and, and all that. So there's one, and that was just a quick warm up. <laughs> yeah, bunnies are so sweet. Oh, really? You spent hours watching them? Oh, I have never... I've never found bunny. I'm such a city girl, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. That was on Unsplash. Um, let's find some more. Wait. Oh. Oh, well, there's there's some inside of a nest. That's kind of gosh, it's so weird looking to me. Um, okay, look, here's a here's a white one that we can kind of see. Oh, why is his foot like that? I'm not sure what's going on with his foot. Is this his rear leg? Can't even tell. I think it is. I guess we could do that, and it might be a little bit hard. But this is still warm up, so we're going to let ourselves off the hook if we don't do it quite right. So on this one, I'm, I'm going to try and just start with Again, continuous line. I see a big circle for his body. Um, and then I see oh, this line. This was here when I did that before. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> it's going to be confusing. And then his head, like I don't see really any neck here at all, but I see this head attached. And, you know, they have they have narrow but wide heads, <laughs> you know, 
when you look at them from the side, they're stealth. <laughs> when you look at them, um, or no, they're the opposite of stealth, aren't they? Well, no, if you look at them straight on, they have a very narrow face. But when you look at them from the side, they look wide like that guy. Weird, right? And then, of course, the big ears. So um, I think what I want to do is make sure that I've got the size relationship going on here. And also this weird foot is coming out over here. And, and I can't even see the whole foot, so I'm not going to stress too much about this. I see an indication of something here. This might be a tail, I guess. I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to know. And um, so when I put this foot in here, um, there's an angle here. I'm looking at the negative space between the head and the foot or leg or whatever that is. Get this shape that I see there. And, um, and then the head comes up like this. And the ear, if I, if I put my pencil like this to look at what lines up with what, it's interesting. I can see that this weird shape here is to the right of the ear. So I could, I could use that as a guide. I could draw a line straight up and make sure that I put my ear on this side of the line. You know, that helps a little bit, right? To have a little cheat like that. Of course, you could use a grid. Um, that definitely makes things a lot easier. And then this ear is gonna come in right about here, I think. And it is big. And look at the shape of it. Look at the angle. It's got a, it's got a kind of a straight line here. Then it goes like this. Then it goes like this, this, this. Weird, right? Some of them have really folded ears too, I've noticed. Now, I don't know if that's the right size. It might be a little bit large. I'm not sure yet. Then there's this little bit of a fold here. Um, there's a line almost connecting the ear and the eye is to the right of that um, shape that we are seeing. So if I were to draw a line straight up, the eye is going to be to the right of that. And for now, I just want to get the approximate size of it. So they have their their eyes are flatter on the bottom for sure. Something like that. Okay. Um, the back of the head comes up. It's like it go. It's coming from this bottom quarter of the ear. You know, about like that maybe. And, and then the back kind of rounds over a little bit. Maybe like that. I might have him a little too round. And I don't know, somehow he's got his legs sticking out this way. I don't know how, but I'm not going to worry about it. This was just a quick little, and I can't even really see his nose. So, and then there, sometimes you can even draw the shadows that you see inside. That can help you too. The, there's a, like a little curvy thing here, here, and here. You know, just to just to help you see that whole form. So let's just keep this as a really simple outline. Maybe I'll use this brushy. This is a um, got a like a brush nib. It's like a flexible nib, not really a brush, but it's a flexible nib, and it's a Tombow calligraphy pen. I really like this one. I think it came in a set of two. I got it on Amazon. So I'm just going to do a really you know, quick, pretend like you just don't have time. Just 
just a really simple, you know, outline thing, I guess. Head kind of comes down a little bit. And remember, they, they have a very flat nose. I don't know that I have the nose quite right because I, I really can't see it. But I, th I think, you know, I think the next important thing to do is to just, you know, take a look, see if it looks like you have placement and size. You know, before you start getting all fancy, you, you do kind of need to have placement and size. And maybe just a little indication of the tail. And that's good enough, right? Very simple, quick outline. I don't know how accurate it is. It doesn't really matter. It was it was meant to be a warm-up. You can certainly erase all this if you wanted to. Oh, I didn't know that was gonna smear. Oh well. <laughs> All right, let's find another one to do. So start with warm ups and, and make them quick and don't belabor it. Just um, start to, I think the main thing with the warming up is to um, remind your brain to get out of the way and use your observation skills. I'm gonna write that down on here. So start with warm ups. using continuous line, continuous. I have to always pause and think about how to spell continuous. I may not have even spelled it right. Um, um, draw what you see, not what you think. And, um, and just, you know, make it, do it quick, try and be quick. Okay, don't belabor it, it's just a warm up. So then, let's see, I think I had a couple of, um, that I saved to my photos. Let me pull that up, where are they? Of course I have a million photos in here. Okay, look at that, <laughs> look at this cutie. Is so cute. He's even got muddy paws. Can you see the little bit of mud on his paws? So this one may have been from Pixabay. <laughs> it's just so, uh, so adorable. I can barely stand it. <laughs> All right. So um, we're blurring a little bit, aren't we? I really love this one. This one could easily just be tucked in a basket. You know, can't you just totally see him in a basket? That's what we're doing. That's what the class is that we're starting next week. Bunny in a basket, or it could be plural. <laughs> I know, isn't he cute? All right, so maybe this one, um, I'm going to make it, I'll let it take up the entire page, I think. And so... Gosh, I'm kind of looking at it at an angle. All right, so I'm going to start with his head. And again, I'm going to, I'm still, I still do continuous line. I, I just like doing that. So it's, it's kind of an oval. You could start with an oval for the head. And then you want to get the oval of the body in relation to that head. And you know, most animals, you can start out with ovals like this. And then maybe a rough shape of this ear. And again, I'm looking at the ear and letting my hand kind of move and follow what I think I'm seeing. It kind of comes up a little bit there, doesn't it? This one's standing up a little bit more, this. So the back is kind of short on him. I, it's not, yeah, he's got like this short, maybe that's what makes him so cute. He's got a shorter back. 
and then this angles this way. I may have his head a little big. Yeah, I may have made him a little too big. He's a cute little thing. And then here's a paw. Now, again, this paw is, see, I, I, I'm I sketching my error. The paw is not to the left of the ear. The paw is to the right of the ear. See that? If I put a line, a vertical line. So um, if I draw a vertical line for myself, and also the eye is to the right of it. So the eye is right about here. So. I may not have had this face just right. So sometimes a simple thing like that can really help you. That's the line. So the paw has to be here. A weird shape ear, huh? Very weird shape. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get placement and size correct. Something is wrong with this part here. This is more space here. Sometimes it's just a really minor little thing. Okay. And I see a hint of, of a, I don't know, something here, like a shoulder. It's not really a shoulder. It's the way his fur is colored, but I do see a shape. And sometimes that can help you. Um, so here, and again, so now this paw, his right paw is lined up with the tip of his ear. The very beginning of the paw is lined up with the tip of that ear. So right about there starts to come out just a little bit. And then there's another paw that meets it here. So that, that looks better. <laughs> you want that bunny? I know. Isn't it the cutest thing? Hey, Lori. <laughs> hey, big sweet potato. <laughs> you guys know who big sweet potato is, right? Um, oh, I'm trying to show this comment. Hi, Deb. How are you? I know, I love this bunny. Okay, and so then um, lined up with this on the same line, same baseline here. There's just a little bit of space in between and there's another little cute little muddy paw right there. Something like, something like that. And then the body comes up a little bit and there's really, it's about as wide as his toe and then it starts to go up. So that kind of can help you figure out how wide his body is. Boy, I have him really chunky looking, don't I? And then this really is pretty up, pretty, pretty upward. And then it starts to go this way. So he's got a, a really round back. It doesn't, you know, I want you to notice that the, his back does not come out of his head. His head, you know, it's, but it's almost the same angle that angle of his back, it's almost the same angle as his head. But it comes out of his ear. Oh, that looks a lot better. Gosh, he's the cutest thing. Now I don't feel like I have this ear quite right. It, it 
does kind of fold and do some couple weird things here, but maybe that's better. It kind of does this and then it goes like this. Like there's a little fold in it. And then it comes to about here. You know, where does it end in relation to that line that you just drew? And then it does that. Well, it does more like that. I may have that. So it's not as wide at the base as I have it. So let me erase this. You know, you can even look at the negative space, look at that negative V shape. And, you know, like when we go to paint this, this is the part that we're going to paint with some nice shades of rose or pink. We're going to, we're going to actually do this in watercolor. I'm excited. I'm just a little bit nervous because I haven't been doing a lot of watercolor lately, <laughs> but I think it'll be fun. And I think that watercolor is nice because, um, you know, if you keep it, if you keep it simple, you can really produce an artwork so quickly with watercolor, you know, typically quicker than with acrylic paint. Although I think I want to paint this in acrylic also. I'll probably, probably do a little bit of both and it'll be a nice class with a few options. Hey, Jean, thank you. It's, <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I shouldn't say thank you. It's not my bunny. Th this picture was, um, well, it was either Pixabay or Unsplash. I'm sorry, I'm not recalling at the moment which, which one. Um, so what do you think? Does that look like I've kind of got the shape? This might be a little bit more like that. Um, yeah, maybe there's just a little bit more um, foot showing. This is making him look like his body is bigger than it really is. When we when we go to actually um, paint this, we would literally, with our paintbrush, indicate the edge of the body with lines like this, you know, instead of having a line going this way. And, it, and it's just going to look a lot better. It's not really, you can see my little hash marks there, yeah. So, um, but for now we're doing them in, in line. And I kind of think this is a great way to do it because before you paint something, if you, if you sketch it first, um, I think it's a huge, huge benefit. You're much more familiar with it because let's face it, when you're painting, you're actually kind of drawing when you're painting. And if you've already practiced a little bit, it's it's just gonna make your painting all that much better. Okay, so then there's this little indication of a nose here. Um, it's just a little tiny, like, triangle of, of a soft shadow. And then there's also, we see a hint of his cheek, but really it just looks like a line. That's all it looks like. So that's, if that's all you see, that's all you should put in. Don't put a big old cheek if you don't see it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's really it. All right, this comes out, or I guess I need to make this go in a tiny bit right here. So sometimes the details do matter, especially on a nose, because they're, you know, they're so cute. It goes in ever so slightly right there. Oops, I made it. So right here, I'm going to make it go in just ever so slightly. And that made all the difference, that little, that little thing. Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking and seeing that this angle is wrong right here. So let me fix this angle. It's more like this. Does the eye need to go back a bit? Oh, you know what? It does look like it. 
it could go back a little bit. Yeah, there's a little more space here, isn't there? Okay, let's do that. Yes, yes, yes. I think I got caught up in it being... Um, to the right of the ear, a little, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. And, you know, don't be afraid to redo something. Um, if you did it once, you can do it again. I moved it ever so slightly. Maybe not even enough, but probably good enough for now. Okay, so somebody said acrylic, I mean. Um, yay, paint will be for me. Oh, acrylic? You're going to do it in acrylic? Yes. Um, yeah, and, you know, we can do this um, with watered-down acrylics if you don't want to purchase um, watercolor. I totally understand. So that'll work. Totally, totally. Um, okay, yeah, the paw looks a little bit weird on this one. <laughs> All right, so on this outline, I'm going to try to do more um, of the hairs showing. So But I'm still just using a ballpoint pen. So I'm gonna kind of do like subtle indications of, of hair. It looks like the eye is equal distance from the ear and the nose on the reference. Yeah, depending on where you're looking at. If, if Well, yeah, if you're looking at this little tip right here, it really is pretty equal. And I do have it a little bit more over on one side, don't I? Yeah, let me move it over a little bit more. Yeah, that's it now. Thanks, you guys. Does that seem better now? Maybe. Okay. So I'm just doing little indications here and there. Okay, and then this comes out this way. And you know, you don't have to make a solid outline on the whole thing. And the bunny feet are really just hairs crossing over these toes. So what you want to draw are the actual little hairs, not the toes themselves. I just think it's so cute that he's got muddy paws.
This pen is a little skippy. So then draw around the highlight of the eye. Hey, Teresa, how are you? And then I'm just going to put a really little indication of this. Okay. And so now, hopefully, this will just look like a really simple Oh, the ballpoint pen wants to smear. Dumb old ballpoint pen. Oh. <laughs> That's what happens when you use a ballpoint pen. But it's kind of a cool effect, actually. All right, so there's that little bunny. Oh, just smeared the heck out of his nose. <laughs> Got to go to the new Dollar Tree? Oh, yeah. Are you uh, feeling like you can drive today? Okay, so that's a smeary bunny, but isn't he cute? That was fun. Let's do another one. Um, this one's pretty nice. Here's one laying down. He's kind of skinny. Let's do this one with his front on face. You know, front on face. You know what I mean? Because this might be what we do with our bunny basket. Have them in the, you know, having them in the basket. So, um Maybe this will we'll do as a vertical. And we'll just kind of speculate if he was in a basket, maybe even just by himself. Right? And the handle is going to go maybe behind him or something. I don't know. He, he could be a big old bunny in a basket. You probably can't even really see that. I know, isn't it cute with the flowers in his mouth? So we want the ears to come in front of the um, handle. So he, he's gonna he's gonna have to be kind of big in here, like he's coming out like this. Here's his boy. They have really weird shaped faces, don't they? It's 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 like a kind of a curvy triangle. Here's one ear. And here's another ear. And again, I'm trying I'm just trying to get size and placement. Size and placement is, is more important than anything. Don't get all caught up in any one part of it until you've got your size and placement down. So that means you need to, you know, have a very light sketching of the ears in relation to each other and on the head and that you're going to have it positioned where it's going to work so that it's in front of the basket handle, you know. I'm going to basically make a basket handle come behind his ears. And you need to draw the back of the basket too. This is like an oval. OK, 
Okay. And then um, here, his nose, we could draw a line down the middle. And how far down is his nose? I don't really know yet. What we could do is we could use how his coloration is on his face. That might help us to figure out where that is. So I'm gonna draw that weird color on his face. It's not really weird, but. Comes around like this. And right here, his eye, his eye is right here. So that means I'm gonna go across and have another eye here and it's right on the edge with the ear. Oops, a little high. So the coloring comes around like this and then goes like this, right? Gets a little wider. And his face gets wider. <laughs> He's a big old bunny. And so now I have a much better idea of where that nose is, right, from, from having done that. So I kind of, this little bit of mouth happening here. Here's the center of his um, cheeks in between. And I, I think the nose is right about here. There is a little subtle, highlight I think that's about right very little mouth we don't really see much but those flowers coming out are just so cute right you could even put that in and his cheek kind of comes down a little bit. See a cheek coming around here too. Um, maybe that eye was supposed to be in a little bit more, which means the ear was supposed to be in a little bit more. We really don't see much of this eye actually. Okay, this eye is right about here, I think. Oh, I see the back of his eye too. Oy. So this eye I think needs to be over. Well, maybe not. It's really hard to tell. Color kind of comes like this. I'm using that gray color to help me, you know, see. I don't really like this angle of a bunny's face to tell you the truth. I, I, I much prefer a side view. I'm realizing I don't, I don't like this angle. <laughs> Does anybody else, I, you know what I mean? It's kind of weird, right? Right, that's his, now the problem is that his back curve is very similar to the curve of the back of the basket. <laughs> yeah, he has chubby cheeks from all the flowers that he's eating. Hey, Betty. Um, oh, you had his rira today, good for you. Uh, oh, you got to go. I thought you were saying you're going to go. Oh, I didn't even read that right. I'm sorry, Teresa. How was it? So glad you had somebody to, to take you out to go check it out. So I think I either, make, I either need to make the basket um, shorter or taller or something, right? So I think, I think shorter is gonna be the way to go. And that is a very big bunny in a basket. So that's his back now instead of the thing. Okay. Um, and then we, we have to have, there is a little bit of fur showing here, but we have to see the back of his eye. 
And then there's a little bit of the skin of the eye showing. Highlight up here. Here's the front of the eye. Here's that highlight, very curved. So this would all be dark. Same thing on this side. The highlight up there. Oh, and the, the little bit of pink is so cute. So I'm just drawing in a shape of where that pink is going to be. And then there's a dark tone underneath. A little V dark tone. That's going to be fun to paint. And there's just a few little dots here. And the whiskers. The whiskers are so important on bunnies, aren't they? They even have a couple coming out of there. Oh, actually, I didn't have the top of his head drawn in right, did I? No, that's too tall. There's just so many things to notice, you know, when you've never <laughs> drawn something before. There's all these things, right? I still may have it too high. I think I do. I don't know why I'm making that so high. And there's a little bit more space between. And then it kind of flattens out up here. But you have to have some bit of a triangle first so that you can later edit it, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> a little bit of a soft roll of the fur right there. And then this just goes like that. Okay, that's looking a lot better, I think. And that, that's probably good enough for being a, you know, a rough sketch. So then let's put our line in. Um, now, so here's an 05. And uh, an 08. I think this is what I was using. We use these two. Yeah, the side. Yeah, I like side views of horses also. <laughs> okay, I don't I don't know if I have I don't think I have this right side of his cheek quite right. Of course, what you could do is erase and redraw and, you know, refine the lines a little bit more um, before you do your um, inking. And, you know, really, we don't even need this line anymore with the color. You could just get rid of that now. Yeah, I do not like this angle. They're so much cuter on the side, the side view. Um, but anyway, we'll we'll outline it real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bold line with the 08. Well, you know what? No, I should do the 05 first. Okay, so this is the real thin line.
you know, and it's probably just going to be hints, hints of stuff. And I guess the nice thing about it is that it lets you like tentatively place things, you know? And of course this would work really nice for this cheek indication, I guess, right? We do need to have some indication of a cheek here. So is everybody gonna be watching the game? I'm not a big game watcher. Neither is my husband. I suppose if he were, um, we would, but he's not too much into that either. But we're, we're oddballs. I know most people are really into it. There's like just a subtle hint of of a line on these cheeks here. Okay, so put the highlight in. We see just a hint of the something light around the eye. Okay, and then um, these eyelashes at the top are really important to give that indication that that's where the eye is. Although neither of our teams are in it, we will be watching for sure. Are you having people over too? Isn't that fun? We used to do that back in the day, long time ago. <laughs> Isn't it funny how life changes? It's like now nobody comes over. And that's fine with me, you know? I don't have to clean the house. Okay. Little ziggy zaggies here and there. Okay, and then this ear. Oh, I didn't do this ear. This ear too. It's just really fun to observe um, all the little details. So some kind of weird looking, not so great looking flowers, huh? A hint of his cheek or whatever that is. And then there's also a hint of, I don't know, fur coming down this way. And then my basket would be coming in here. And we're going to try and make the basket look like it's, you know, got this stuff going on here. I 
I suppose we need a reference for that because I'm kind of faking that in. And you could put little flowers and eggs and all kinds of fun stuff in there, right? <laughs> Oops, this is in the way. But I think what we would do is kind of maybe put like a checkerboard kind of thing happening. If you've never done a basket. It can get kind of complicated. Oops, sorry. Let's curve a little bit. That is a big bunny. <laughs> My husband and I never watch any sports. Our friends don't understand it. <laughs> oh gosh, you're you're like us. I know we're kind of rare. <laughs> we don't watch anything, nothing. Okay, we get the O eight. Where is it? Here it is. And I'm just gonna fill the eye in dark. When we go to paint this, I mean, in acrylic, what I would do is, you know, paint this whole thing dark, but then come back in with a light soft um, on top of it to, to get that beautiful little bit of, you know, pretty color in the eye. Um, that bunny needs a wagon instead of a basket. A wagon. Oh, what a cute idea. <laughs> is is a basket too cliche? <laughs> Probably is. Um, okay. So same thing with the with this. We could we could have a twist on here too. Shelly, are you here? How was did you go to Aniston's game? Yeah, you could have a whole bunch in a wagon for sure. <laughs> and that's how it is with bunnies. There's usually a lot of them. So it's, it's just important that the interior lines match up with the exterior lines to tell the whole story, you know. Makes a big difference. Okay, um, and then it could be a little darker inside here. Oh, they look cute when they're smaller. Oh no, oh no, she got hit in the mouth. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't understand what you just said about interior. Oh, um, okay, thanks for asking. So when I drew this, I drew these, these are, in, these are interior lines describing what's going on. These are like um, twisted pieces of, uh, I don't even know what they use, like softened wood or something. But then the exterior line has to complete the shape. So this is an interior line and then it's, I call it an exterior line because it describes the outer edge of that shape. Same thing with this. 
I did first I did these lines like this and then I came back in and did these lines like this. So these are I just call them interior and exterior lines. No big deal. But when they jive, when they work together, it really makes a difference. If they don't, you got a problem, <laughs> you know. Um, so now, oh, now I forgot how we do a basket again. I hope she's feeling better, Shelly. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, because of a loose tooth. Oh, that's why. Uh, all right. So how does this work again? One goes in and one goes out. So, so let's say this one goes over. This will be an over. So then we erase it here. And that's an under. So over. So again, I'm kind of adjusting the lines ever so slightly. This is another over. Right? You see what I'm doing? Um, then this one would show. And then when we go down to the next row, it's going to be the opposite. Boy, you really messed that up. It's going to be the opposite. This would be an under. And this would be the over. So we erase it here. So when we go to shade it, we could shade it here a little bit. And we could shade here. Because this is under. Shade here a little bit. So that's the part, like when we're watercoloring this, this is where we're going to put our, our shading. Bas baskets can be a little meticulous, <laughs> right? But that's the that's the principle. Okay, so that's an out. Wait, am I doing this right? An out. So this one shows. This one's the opposite. This one would show. I thought I started at three my time. So, I'm, oh, that's okay, Andy. Hey, how are you? Um, where are you at again? Oh, you're East Coast, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm, I don't feel like getting into the basket right now. But, um, We erase all this. Oh, Florida, that's right. You're but you're you're down there temporarily or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't want to erase those lines yet. <laughs> Big old fat bunny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um so, okay, let's just do a quick outline with the heavier. Yeah, this is it. Now, if I'm not careful, this, you know, could take over the whole thing, the, the basket, which, you know, is not really what I want to do. And I'm not, I'm not ready to draw the exterior of the basket yet because I don't have all the interior lines figured out yet. So I'm not going to do that. So you just pick out a few spots where the bunny is a little bit more prominent.
something like that. Right. Anyway, you get the idea. It's kind of meticulous. Um, okay. And I think I'm going to maybe do one more. And I would love to see your sketches. Now, if you want to, you can join my free group over on Facebook. Um, it's the Artist at Heart community. And you can share your sketches there. I would love to see them. So maybe this one will just do a, a really simple, another head. This is like a three quarter view though, right? So sometimes you can start with the nose. Let's see what happens if we start with the nose. So I do see a V, see a line coming down like this on the cheek. The other cheek. And kind of goes up like this. Okay. Very hard to place this, so you have to just kind of practice, you have to experiment. So you could, you could, you know, drop your pencil there and see what lines up with what when you do that, right? That might help a little bit. If I draw a line across, seemed like it was up a little bit higher. You can do fur and watercolor, yes, for sure. I think the best way to do it is to first lay down some light washes as a base and then come back in and do hair, actual hair lines with a small liner brush. But you got to get the form established first, you know, with, with you know, giving the contour of the shape. You got to build form first with anything, you know, no matter what you're doing, you have to show form. Well, unless you're doing line. Right now we're just doing line. <laughs> so we're not really showing it on here. So um, I think the eye is about this height, but how far over is it? Looks like it's about the same width as the nose. So maybe right about here is where it starts, I think. Looks mean the way I have it right now. And then there's this shape that comes up like this. And we see just a hint of a brow on this side, real subtle. I probably overdid it. Let's soften that. Okay. And then they do have very flat heads. I may have this a little too high. And then the ear is basically coming straight up. And it reattaches like here, flares out, goes up. Yeah, it's a it's a complicated shape, the ear.
but continuous line helps so, so much, I think. It's not that pointy. It's not a pointy ear. Kind of goes this way, rounds this way. This angle in here is so important. So we're seeing the eyelid, and then we're also seeing the curve of the of the eyeball itself in here. So there's like a highlight here, and another one on top. Yeah, I, I may, maybe I should have had the ear over just a little bit more. And then look at where his back comes out of the middle of his ear. This is basically where. So it's like a bunny portrait. You can tell I'm not used to drawing these, right? <laughs> and you know, we don't really see a top of a nose on this one, but we see these other weird indentations. There is a little bit of white around here. Sometimes it helps to kind of put that in. And that's really it. So, okay, on this one, I'm just gonna go right to the bold line. I'm gonna start with the eye. So glad I finally got the bear class listed. I've been wanting to do that for a while now. Okay, let's start up here. Oops, I'm hitting the camera with my head.
Oh, and there's actually a cast shadow here. Her noses are just so cute. And then, you know, you could just start in with all of these hairs like this that would that would give it a lot of tone and value using line. <clears throat> but I don't know that I want to get into doing all that with this. But, you know, you certainly could. Okay, and then I would erase. All the extra lines. So did you guys sketch at all? I would love to see your sketches. Now this would be really, you know, a fun thing to watercolor right over this. And, you know, if you're using permanent line like this, permanent ink, we can watercolor, you know, we could put a color in this background and make it a light, any color bunny. It could be a light color or whatever. And then we could put washes, different washes of fur on him. So I find that when I sketch like this, it helps get me excited about what can I do next with paint, you know. And then for years, that kept me really happy. And then the last several years, or last, I don't know how many years, three, four years now, I've been going further and adding glass and resin to it, which is really fun. So that's it, my friends. Let me um, add myself back into the stream here. Hello, that was fun. Okay, so here's what we did. I'm going to, I'm going to, is this going to, is this going to work? Where am I? I don't think it's letting me do this. Oh, okay. All right, so we did this one. And then we did this one. He kind of looks like he's gonna clean his paw. He's like gonna maybe he was gonna lick his paw and clean his clean his feet or something. This one is adorable, isn't it? Too bad that I kind of scratched it up. But you know, if you do something like this and that happens, you can paint over it. You know, you can you could use white ink or white acrylic paint pen to cover over that. 
There's always something you can do to fix it. And then this one we did, I don't like him. <laughs> and I think that's it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you are a member and you're going to be doing the um, class with me next week, I would say spend a little time um, at least just looking through photos of bunnies to get yourself inspired and see if there's a couple that you want to sketch. They're really fun. So that is it, my friends. If you want to share your um, sketches with me, I would love to see them. You can post them in, if you're not a member, you can post them in um, my free group. You can ask to join. Hey, Lisa, you can ask to join my um, artist. <laughs> what is it called again? The Artist at Heart community on Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Shelly, did you sketch? I want to see your sketches. Shelly's a, a good sketcher. Um, I, I want to see your sketches, you guys. Come on now. Oop, I don't want to roll over my cord. I had to replace my, um, my cord. My husband found one for my car. We, I had so much snow and funkiness in my car that somehow I let the, um, my, my charger, my iPhone charger. How do I hide this comment? I let my iPhone charger fall down into the, I guess I had a wet puddle in the bottom of my car in the mat and it, and it ruined it. <laughs> so I had to replace it. <laughs> oh, oh, well. All right, you guys have a wonderful day today. I hope your team wins and I hope you have a lot of fun. See you later. Bye.